it's Rachel from Central Texas Zone 8B and I'm going to be making up a couple planters today. Um, one is going to be full sun drought tolerant and it's going to go on our, um, our little pergola and then the other one is going to go on my front porch which is covered and only gets um, indirect sunlight. It doesn't get any direct sunlight ever. Um, so I've been really remiss uh, on taking care of plants or getting projects done. Uh, I, I'm in online school right now and I <laughs> am just super distracted and hating life right now because I, although I love learning, I hate being in school. I just hate it. Um, and so, but I only have four classes left <laughs> before I uh, um, finish. So, um, into the road, <laughs> I guess, or a uh, light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, anyhow, so, I'm behind on this. These should have been planted up a long time ago. As you can see, they're kind of, they're getting a little stressed and I stopped watering them and things like that. So anyhow, this is gonna be for the full sun drought tolerant planter. Now this um, is not drought tolerant, but I want to try it in the planter anyhow, just because I wanna add a little splash of color. So this is a Tacoma. I think I'm saying that right. Yeah, sun trumpets yellow, Tacoma. These get huge, but before I pop this into the landscape, I thought it'd be cool to use it in a planter on my patio or back patio thing or pergola. Um, and it has these yellow flowers uh, that look like this. Normally it's covered in these. It just went through a flush. So this is again, yet again, I'm like late on post or making this up, but it's all budded up to have a, another flush here again. This I thought was really cool. This is party down to zone uh, nine. So this will just be an annual here, but this was called uh, kangaroo paw. I believe it's, at least I've watched some gardening shows in Australia where they've used this before and I saw it at the, the nursery Lowe's actually and I thought it was super cool looking. The, some of the blooms are kind of fading. Uh, you can see they kind of get a little bit more brown looking than the, I guess these are called blooms. I don't actually know if they're blooms or not. It's fuzzy all over. It's just really interesting. Um, and then this little guy, I have had problems with squirrels eating this in the past, so I'm gonna try to stick it kind of in the middle and hope maybe they stay away from it. If it's not like hanging over the edge of the pot, maybe they won't sit next to it and nibble on it, I don't know. So anyhow, so this is, and then I also have, <laughs> this is really sad, uh, I have some Dusty Miller that y'all saw me pull out of the planter at my husband's um, parents' place. Um, and I have, it has been sitting not potted up, not anything, just, um, I'll probably insert a little clip just to show you. It's very sad. Um, there's a, it's still, there's a few pieces that still look pretty good. Anyhow, I really need to get that into some kind of pot or something. I do want to, I wanted to stick it in the landscape, but again, I've just been so distracted with school stuff and things that I haven't, um, done any of that. So anyhow, so this will probably go like this with a few Dusty Millers scattered in the front. So that's the full sun drought tolerant one. And then for the shade one, I was going to do one of these. Lots of pink, obviously. I really look like that. Um, these are the Impatience. Um, part shade to, to full shade. This is a Begonia. Say shade to part sun, and then this guy, y'all. I mean, y'all all know these things. This is, um, I always mispronounce this. A coleus? No, what am I talking about? Not coleus. Um, Celosia. I think I said that right. Uh, part shade to shade. So, like I said, the blooms are getting a little spent on all these because they've all been sitting back here for a very, very long time and just not on top of life right now. But I'm gonna do. A little mix of these. Um, I like the varying shades of pink. This is kind of a peachy pink. This is like a really um, bubblegum pink and then this is that deeper kind of magenta -y pink and I like the play of those together. Um, I also like that these leaf colors are you know almost exactly the same. This is a little lighter but I, I do like that um, these leaf, the leaf structure on this one is so much darker and deeper than the other ones and it has a little bit of kind of bronze coloring on the edge of the leaves, which I think is really pretty. And then the new leaves come out a kind of bronze color. Let's see if I can... Well, they come out bright green, then they turn bronze, and then they kind of go the medium 
bronze to green. I don't know. Anyway, I think this is a this is one of those double begonias or something. A doublet rose is what it's called. It's really pretty. I like it a lot. I may try sticking some Dusty Miller in here um, and just see how it does in, you know, indirect sunlight. Um, I haven't really tried that before. I normally just have them in mostly sun to full sun. Um, but I think that a little touch of silver in here would look really pretty. So uh, I'm going to go take the camera over to the pot that I'm going to use for the full sun ones because it's, it's a big, heavy um, ceramic pot. Um, and I don't want to fill that here and then have to drag it all the way over there because that would be not, not fun. All right, so I'm gonna gather my supplies up. And here is my little area of dead plants that I've killed because I stopped watching things and watering them. And then these are the sad dusty miller that I pulled out of those planters. And I think they've been sitting here for, I don't know when I made that video. It's definitely over a week. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty sorry looking. So anyhow, I'm going to, um, go ahead and try to salvage a few and use them in, in this planter. Okay, so here we are. This is the planter that I'm going to be um, planting up today. I've pre-sold it with some potting mix, just a bag of, of stuff I got at the, um, the big box store Lowe's. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start planting this up here. Um, I have no idea what temperature it is right now because I haven't looked at the weather yet today, but I have not been outside long and I already have sweat rolling down my back, just <laughs> drip, drips just rolling down my back. It's, ugh, gosh, it's so hot. <clears throat> so a little bit of roots running around, but honestly this isn't bound up hardly at all. And like I said, I will just be popping this back out to the landscape once um, this gets too big for this pot, which might end up being very quickly. I don't know. We'll see. I'm turning this around, um, even though the other side probably was a little more attractive for the start of this pot, um, starting out, but I think because it's a little bushier on the side, I just turned to the back, um, it's going to take up this pot space very quickly, and I'd rather it bush out to the back so that the, the smaller plants I'm planting up here have a little more um, <clears throat> room to do their thing. Now, like I said, this plant does need more water than these other ones, so I don't know how this is going to do. Um, <clears throat> uh, I also need to fertilize this one, so I may just put a little bit of fertilizer in right next to it and see how that goes. Think about that. I'm kind of overpacking this pot quite a bit, um, which I typically actually, I don't feel like I normally do that, but I'm giving it a try. Okay, so here's the planter for now. I'm not sure if I like the Dusty Miller in there. I may take that out, we'll see. Um, and then I'm hoping that the um, petunias kind of start spilling over the side a little bit more instead of standing up like that. Um, but I'm gonna water this in and get to working on the shade planter. Okay, 
So here we are for the shade portion, shade planter portion of this two planter um, video. And I have this guy here. You may recognize this, uh, these dead, uh, dead plants from one of my winter planters. And I purposely, I did, I should preface this, I purposely let these die out. Um, they were, they fizzled out and I started school and I just didn't want to water them anymore because um, I knew I was going to be putting other stuff in there. So I'm going to remove all of the soil because it's really um, terrible right now. Ooh, that, I think. Um, yeah, and that just all came out in one giant clump. <sighs> Spider webs in there too. That's how dusty and old it is. Reminds me of that uh, scene from Indiana Jones where he's uh, in that, uh, I think it's the first one, he's in that uh, temple where he exchanges the golden statue and he comes away and has all those spider webs like attached to him. I think that's the one I'm thinking of. Uh, he comes out of that, that first uh, epic scene covered in spider webs. That's what the inside of this pot looked like. Indiana Jones covered in spider webs. Spilled dirt all over myself. Okay. This guy and this guy are gonna go in the back. And I will fertilize this one. Um, I'll just use that kind of uh, shake one that I had showed y'all in a different video. I do think this one's really cute. This little, this begonia. Normally I'm not like super into the begonias, but the double begonias are, I think they're pretty cute. Slozia. angle here just <laughs> looking in the camera trying to see if it uh, looks okay okay I don't know if this has room for any of the dusty miller I don't think it does I think it looks quite pretty like this I don't think I want to add any of the dusty miller in here I will have to put a couple stones there's a kind of a patch here and a patch here I will have to put some stones here to stop the squirrels from digging in this because I have squirrel problems here at my house and then deer and armadillo problems at my in-laws house that I garden at. So um, kind of covering a lot of the <laughs> problem, problem pest uh, uh, animals there. Um, I have a few stones here that I previously taken out of this planter. Um, I'm going to water this in first and then I'll stick these stones in, but just lift this up again. Here's this. <laughs> um, I'll water this in and words, I'll water this in and I'll put it back <laughs> in its spot. Um, anyhow, hope uh, y'all got some planter inspiration. Um, I, again, I'll keep you updated on all my planters throughout this um, hot Texas growing season, uh, summer, uh, to let you know how all these plants perform so that maybe next year you can pick things, um, uh, easier for certain areas and stuff. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.